Namaste everybody. In the last video we have seen the schematic of CMOS inverter using PMOS and NMOS. Now in this video we will see how to draw the layout using the schematic using the software called electric and Spice. So first step is uh, schematic is uh, need to be done, schematic need to be done. So it's already been done. So let's get into the layout part. So whatever the library that is created in the same library, go to new cell, create a layout. So name, just name that. So this is the screen where you can draw the layout. Now from the components, can you see these are the different layout uh, accessories that are available. Now if you just look at the schematic, this is PMOS, this is NMOS. So in the components, in the layout part, in the components, so these are the different uh, accessories. Here this is NMOS. So let me just click NMOS, place it over here. So this is uh, gate crossing the sorry poly crossing the diffusion. So it is going to form the NMOS. So here in this software, you have to keep the active region separately. In other softwares, it may be coming along with this particular icon only. But in electric, you have to keep the active region separately. So this is NMOS. So I am going to use N active over here this is one more and active over here now this is our gate portion this is our source or drain and this one is source or drain whatever suppose this is source this becomes drain suppose this is source this becomes a drain now we have to go back to the schematic and you have to check what is the length and width of the NMOS here the width is 5 and length is 2. So same length and width we are supposed to keep. So in the layout, double click, it is going to show the length and width. Length is 2, let it be there. So this is width is 5. So let me make it as 5. Here also, this is 5, x axis is 5. So let it be as it is, no problem. Now we have to connect this, these two parts to the middle one. So for that left click and right click here also left click and right click. Now just bring it closer. Now as you come closer and closer you can actually observe the n active spacing is getting reduced. Now it is 3.5. If we go too close it is giving the error. You can actually see that error that is popping out. So you make sure there is no error. So this is 3.5, no error. So let me keep it as it is, 3.5 as it is, no problem. Similarly, this one also, get it as 3.5 and keep it as it is. Now this is my NMOS. The length and width of this NMOS is same as that of the NMOS that is present in the schematic. Okay, our NMOS is ready. So what you have to keep it to do is uh, I'm going to rotate it. So for the rotate, the keyword is Control J. Okay. Now NMOS is ready. Similarly, we have to do the PMOS. So for the PMOS, go to PMOS. Get it over here. P Act Active Region. Yes. Now again we'll go to the this section and we'll check what is the length and width. 15 is width, length is 2. Double click here, length is 2. Let me make it as 15. Okay. Similarly, this and this together. We, if you want to select, you can just press the shift button. Double click here, x axis. I'll make it as 15. Enter. Now left click and right click, left click and right click. 
so getting it closer and closer let me keep it as 3.5 here also let me keep it as 3.5 only now control j for the rotate now p mos is over n mos that is CMOS. So it is moving too much. Let me go to the preference and check the grid size. Let me make it as smallest one. Okay. Yes. Now it is moving fine. Now you see this uh, this portion. So gate and gate is connected drain and drain is connected so these are gate gate and gate must be connected left click right click gate and gate is connected so before that let us get it closer get it get it closer on a silicon wafer if the spacing is less it is better okay so gate and gate is connected so let me just take this as drain and this as drain so drain and drain is connected left click right click so this is pmos this is nmos now this connection is over this connection is over gate and gate drain and drain both are connected now in this portion we have to connect uh, for a pmos we have to connect it to a vdd for nmos the source is connected to the ground so in the layout part we have to give the vdd over here so for that this is pmos i have to select n well so n well is present here let me get it over here so for pmos i have to get it n well so let me just increase the size something like 15 okay let me just get it closer click and right click connection is established so, okay. whereas for the nmos i have to get p well place it over here make this as 15 align that left click and right click connection is over so let us save it now while doing this we can check for the errors so I, let me just check error there is no error if i want to create an error so let me just get it close very close so that intentionally let me form a error error is there so if I click it shows 8 errors so in order to check the errors come to the explorer ok space so that means here there is something error you can actually see inactive layer inactive less by 1.5 than 4 whatever ok that means we are too close let me just move a little bit far apart so that error is reduced now after that let me just check the error no error so while doing the layout simultaneously if you check the error it is better instead of checking the error at the end and getting confused where we have made the error so it is better to go in a systematic uh, way where when we do the layout step by step we can check the error so that uh, the error is minimized now this has been done now if you check out the schematic we have to give the input and you have to take the output so this is vdd and ground we have done we have to take the input and we have to take the 
output. So, here in the layout, input is given to the gate. So, we are going to use this one that is metal to poly. So, you have to give the input to the poly. So, directly we cannot give the input to the poly. It is always a good practice to give the input through metal. So, this is a connection node. If you click metal to poly is selected. So, get it and paste it over here. Poly to this particular thing. Use this. So, we are going to give the input through this metal. Similarly, output is taken from the metal. So, left click and right click. So here, we are going to give the input and we are here going to take the output. Now, we have to name the input output VDD and ground. Unless, see in this schematic, we have not named VDD and ground. By default, it has taken. But in the case of layout, we are not supposed to do that. If you leave the VDD and ground as it is, it is going to give the error. We have to export this VDD and ground along with input and output. So, export of input and output we have already done in the schematic. Similarly, we have to do it in the layout also. So, for that, let me click over here, export, so V in. is export v out let me increase the font let me get it outside increase the font number 3 so that it is clearly visible okay here it is VDD G and D. Everything is done except uh, the spice model. So, this is PMOS and this is NMOS. You have to add the spice model. So, select this PMOS, go to tools, spice, simulation spice, set spice model. Oh, let us just zoom, it's gone inside. Just get it outside. Q for the properties. It is PMOS. So let me increase the font. Okay, that is PMOS. Similarly, NMOS spice model. Everything is ready. Let us just save it and check for the error. So, zero error. As of now, there is no error. Now we have to simulate this. So, in order to simulate, as you know, we have to put the spice code. For that, go to the miscellaneous section, spice code, place it here. It's too tiny. Anyway, spice code I have already written in the schematic section so same thing i'm going to copy that okay. go here q multi line q let's check what is the size okay fine they're happy yes so whatever the code that has been written for the schematic, same code we are going to do over here also. Okay, yes. 
save it that's it now we are going to do the simulation simulation spice okay the simulation that's been done over here is a transient one so let me visible traces input and output okay let me add one more dot now this is output and this is input so output is a inverted form of input okay so this is what the simulation that has been done simulation has been done now you have to do the lvs lvs is nothing but layout versus schematic now our layout is there so schematic we want to open in a new window okay and obviously there is going to be an error because here v in is there here i have intentionally removed v in so that error will pop up let us go to the tool ncc okay here ncc is nothing but layout versus schematic in electric okay now we can actually see export there is an error here in the layout part v in is there whereas in the schematic part net 4 is there that means here nothing is there sorry now uh, if i click on this one so it will go to the place where error is present okay here if i go there it will show these are the places where error is present now if i want to get rid of the error save it yes, earlier the error window was over here let me close this okay these are the two windows i want to compare okay keep an eye on this go to tools ncc click on this one now you can actually see ncc command completed 00 seconds that means if everything is matched that is layout versus schematic if it is perfect then there is no error if there is a mismatch between the schematic and layout then there is going to be a error yeah that's it thank you